Hello, I'm Brett with WIPdeveloper.com. We've already taken a look at how to load a static resource so that we could access an image, but what if we want to add some styles from a style library to our Lightning Web component? Conveniently, Salesforce provides us with a load style method so we can load styles from static resources. So uh, the first thing we would have to do is go to the style library that we want, or if it's our own custom CSS that we're reusing, uh, we take that and upload it to a static resource. In our project, I've already done that. I have a static resource called styles to load, and I've already specified the path. So I have NES styles path, and then it's Salesforce slash resource URL slash styles to load. And I'm assigning it to style path on line six here. I'm going to want it to load using the load style. So I need to import that. We import load style from the lightning slash platform resource loader. In the HTML, I have defined a button that says style me. It has an on click method that calls the add style method. I've already assigned class classes to the elements that I want styled from the re style resource that we're going to load. You can see the button is going to be styled as an NES button and primary and then down below the button there is an icon list that has NES Mario, NES Ash, Pokeball, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, and Kirby. Right now on our page we don't see any of those because there's nothing defined <clears throat> to make use of those there's nothing defined to make use of those classes. When we call add styles we want it to call the load style method. And the load style method takes a reference to the current instance, so this, and then the path to the style that we want. So our load style method is going to use the instance that it's currently in, so this, and then it's called, passes in the path to the style that we're trying to access. Since style path only references the root of the static resource, inside the static resource we have to provide the path to the CSS file that we want. So we can close this and deploy it. Something's not right. I used the incorrect tick mark. I used a back tick versus the single quote. And I can refresh the page. In case you're wondering, yes, I could be doing local development. I just forgot to set that up. Now let's click our button and see what happens, though. There we go. We have our icons with Mario, Ash, a Pokeball, a Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, and Kirby. But the text on our button looks a little off. Let's take a look at how we can get the text to style properly. Since my style library didn't include a fonts, I'm going to load a separate CSS file that's called fonts to specify the font to use. And since we are adding loading two styles at the same time, we're going to want to call. We'll use promise.all so that all the styles load at the same time and are applied once all the styles are completely loaded. If we were doing something with a JavaScript library, this and the promise.alls.then or callback method is when we would take action. So let's save this. Now let's try it. Now we see that it has the blocky text that I was looking for. One thing to note, the blocky text is everywhere. So this is a good instance on when I would want to scope the styles to a particular element. Now that we're loading the fonts, even though it's sort of affecting the rest of the page more than we would want it to, why don't we get it so that we don't actually require a button click to load it? To make the styles load automatically when the page loads, we'll change from using the add style method to using a constructor. So the constructor from the class will be called when the component is loaded. 
or create it. And to use a constructor method, we have to call super. There you go. You can see that it loads right away when the Lightning Web Component comes on the page. And that's how we can load a CSS file from the static resources and apply it to our Lightning Web Components. That's it for now. Remember to sign up for the weekly standup, and you can get updated with any new information we have on wipdeveloper.com.